do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today, we got something crazy, man. Today, this is, okay, so boom. I'm not gonna hold y'all too long before we get into the video. But, this girl found out that her mom did not just sleep with her boyfriend. Did not just do the deed with her boyfriend. Did not just have fun, fun, sexy time with her boyfriend. The daughter found out that the boyfriend impregnated her mother. The mother is pregnant with the baby of her daughter's boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? That's some grimy stuff. Now, I just reacted to another video where the mama got caught kind of sleeping with the dude, the girl's um, boyfriend or whatever. But they were just sleep, not just because it's bad overall, just sleeping with your daughter's mans. You know what I'm saying? But this is another level. This she was getting raw doggy style down. Like that, like that, and she was literally. <sighs> anyway, we finna watch this video. I'm 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 curious. I won't say excited because it's sad at the end of the day. It's very it's extremely sad. It's sad for both parts, the parent and also the boyfriend. Like you were you were op, man. You was literally an op. Like you were literally clapping your girlfriend's mother. Like that's so that's outrageous. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is super outrageous. So it's bad on both day parts. I'm not gonna lie to you. And the girl, the the daughter is really the one that's at that. The only one that's down bad today. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't watch this video, if you're excited, smash the like button, subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? Before we hop into the video, though, you know what you want to get. You know what I have. You can have it, too. Jurag.com. You can buy two and third free, or you can bundle up to save $50. We got the best drags in the game. But you already knew that. Let's hop into this video. I'm not going to pause it a single time. If I got to say something, we go run it back. You know what I'm saying? We go run it back. Let's go. Story time, how I found out my mom was pregnant with my boyfriend's baby. So it all started while I was on a girl's trip in Mexico. Um, Rovers. This is why girls don't need girl's trips. Because you go to girl's trips and you come back and you realize your mom is pregnant with your boyfriend's kid. That's why. That happens every single girl's trip. Like, without, like, listen, have you ever seen a girl go on a girl's trip and something like this never happened? That's like saying, have you ever seen, have you ever seen... Tom Cruise and Batman in the same in the same house. No, you haven't, because you don't know they the same person. You know what I'm saying? Like it's literal logical sense. Like you gotta make sense sometimes. Versus we just got overturned that morning, and I was calling all of the women in my life, um, just to see how they were, to check on them. And when I got to my mom, she was obviously distraught, crying. Um, I didn't think anything of it because she's a woman, uh, raising a woman in America. And she knows multiple other women who would be affected by this. Um, so I talked to her. We ended the call. Went back to my trip. Two days later, I called my mom just to check on her. And she's still audibly, like, distraught. Wait, you can tell she'd been crying. What did she just say? Why was, the, why was she crying? Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I didn't, just, I got to run it back. Just be quiet. Story time. How I found out my crying? mom was pregnant with my part. boyfriend's baby. So it all started while I was on a girl's trip in Mexico. Um, Roe versus Wade just got overturned that morning and I was calling all of the women in my life um, just to see how they were to check on. Oh, the Roe versus Wade where they can't get abortions and all that. Oh, that's why she was crying. Oh, that's why she called all the people. But then she was crying. That's why the mom was crying because the mom already knew. And then she couldn't go and, you know what I'm saying, do the thing to the baby because the, 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 the law just passed. I'm okay. I understand that. On them, and when I got to my mom, she was obviously distraught, crying. Um, I didn't think anything of it because she's a woman, uh, raising a woman in America, and she knows multiple other women who would be affected by this. Um, so I talked to her. We ended the call. Went back to my trip. Two days later, I called my mom just to check on her, and she's still audibly like distraught. You could tell she'd been crying, and I was asking her what was going on and she wasn't telling me and I was telling her I was like hey tell me what's going on or I'm gonna get on a flight and come back and figure out what's going on myself um and ultimately she ended up just telling me um after a few minutes she was like I'm pregnant now when she told me that I didn't think much of it I was just really happy really excited you thought <laughs> you 
not finna be happy when you find out whose baby it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'm laughing at her. She really down bad. Anyways. Now, when she told me that, I didn't think much of it. I was just really happy, really excited, because I never thought that I would have a, a younger sibling. Um, so I was just congratulating her. You know, I was just ranting, talking about next steps, like, oh my God, like, did you set up the first ultrasound? Like, how are you feeling? Blah, 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 making funny jokes, talking about names. And then she cuts me off and she was like, but it's by, we're gonna call him John. John being my ex, my boyfriend at the time, I should say. I asked her to repeat herself because keep in mind, I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> I'm in Mexico, come on. Um, I asked her to repeat herself, I was like, what and then she says it's by john after i heard that my soul left my body and everything that came after that i was not ready for what, what do you what do you mean why is your head wait a minute What's the rest of it? This part two. I'm gonna look at part two. Right we got. I gotta find her TikTok and all that. But that's that's od wild. At least the mom like came forward and said it though. Like usually, where her TikTok at? Where the TikTok? Hold on. I'm gonna be right back. I'm trying to find a TikTok. All right, y'all know me. I'm the freaking goat. I done found part two already. I thought I was gonna have to find it later. or ask y'all to find it. But listen, we back in it. We back in it. Hold on. But let's just talk about it real quick. What the? F that's crazy. That is wild. But at least the mama said, I already said this, but at least the mama owned up to it instead of it being like a long, drawn out process. You know what I'm saying? She admitted to it right there. I would have let her at least come back from Cancun so she could enjoy the rest of her trip. Personally, me, I would be thoughtful like that, even though I wasn't thoughtful when I was getting my thoughtfulness thought it down by her boyfriend. But at least she can enjoy the rest of her trip. But now her trip over. She 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 not drunk no more. She's sober. But let go, let go, let go. Block her and wow. block him block immediately. Him. At this point, as you can imagine, the trip is over. <laughs> um, pack my bags, come back home. Him and I were living together, um, so I had some of my friends come with me to get some things when I knew he wouldn't be there. And I stayed with one of my friends for a few weeks. Once the next steps were figured out, that's when I went back to the house to go pack everything up and move into my new place. And um, I don't know if you guys have seen the other video where I was like, oh, he took all my things. That's what happened. That was when I walked into the house. Everything was gone, cleared out. He was out of there. So I call him. No answer. Okay. So I text him. And he answers. To summarize those messages, he basically said that um, he took my things in order to get me to have a conversation with him. Um, since I blocked him and wasn't speaking with him before. Personally, like what? Personally, like what conversation do you need to have? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you, what do we need to talk about? Like, what 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 could you say to get you out of this? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, what? Not even this the smoothest person could wiggle their way out of this foolishness. You literally impregnated my mother. Like, what? Um. I asked him if he understand the magnitude of what he's done to me. Um, he says he's sorry. Um, and he told me that if I come back, he'll make things right. How? Like how? No, flowers ain't gonna do it, my guy. A little back massage is not going to make the problem go away. A, a, a Lambo truck it might make it start to get a little blurry eyed but i know i don't know you got lambo truck money if you do hey but i don't think you got lambo truck money but i'm just i don't know how how do you make that right i don't let me know in the comments down below personally how, how the heck would you make that right and ladies what would you what what would have to happen for you to you know what i'm saying forgive somebody for this personally i, I me thinking about this nothing not a single thing can be done promise you that um, and we can rebuild our relationship and that my mother would take care of the child. At that point, I gave him the ultimatum. I was like, give me my things or I'm putting you in jail. How do you put him in jail? Like, what did he do? 
stealing your stuff. I don't, I don't think he's going to jail for that, but okay. Um, ultimately, he gave my things back. I didn't go to get them. My friends, thank God for them. They went to go get my things. Um, I got my things back. Um, I got most of my things back, I should say. Um, I didn't get my money back, but that's okay. I'm okay with taking that loss. Um, and yeah. So after that, I haven't spoken to him again. Um, I had multiple women reach out to me on socials once I started coming out with the story. Um, and they've let me know that they've either had relations with him or um, they were in long-term relationships with him. Um, so yeah, haven't spoken to him, still haven't spoken to my mom. Right now I'm in a new place, I'm trying to heal, and I'm trying to move on with my life. So yeah, that's where we're at. This is messed up in so many ways, in so many generations, down the line. All because they wanted to clap. You know what I'm saying? But now, like, the kid, she technically now has a little sibling. But that little sibling, that the dude will probably not stay. I'm not going to lie to you. The dude, he don't love, he definitely, well, I'm almost 100% sure he don't love the mom. So he really not going to stay. He going to dip out of there. Horrible, horrible human being. You know what I'm saying? And then the mama, on the other hand, now she got to raise this baby by herself. She's never going to get another man because once the man finds out what the heck she did beforehand, they not gonna want to be with her. They, they not gonna want nothing to do with her. So she not gonna get no man, no new man's, nothing like that. She gonna be single and lonely for the rest of her miserable life, and th that's what she deserved, low key. You know what I'm saying? But then the kid, the innocent little baby, the innocent little kid, they not gonna know their daddy. They not gonna have a relationship with their sister, their big sister. And then once once they figure out who their parents is and who their sibling is and all that different type of stuff, it's just gonna be so much freaking weirdness. So much, it's it's gonna be so weird, like a hundred percent. Like like it's it's just it's just so messed up. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That's freaking crazy. That is ridiculous. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. All right, that's really about it. I'm going to see y'all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, because I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.